Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. I'm so happy with this recipe. These are my little individual pizza breadsticks with a beautiful homemade olive tapenade. Now this bread recipe for the actual pizza base itself is one of the simplest you can possibly get. I've done this so many times and it never ever fails. So into your bowl first of all, you're gonna add 600 grams of spelt flour or strong white bread flour. You're gonna add seven grams of active yeast, a good tablespoon of sugar, good pinch of salt, and then you're gonna pour in about 350 millilitres of lukewarm water. Now you can do this by hand by all means, it's gonna take you around 15 to 20 minutes to knead that gluten. Otherwise, you can use yourself a mixer and just use your bread hook. So I'm just transferring that into an oiled bowl. I'm just gonna leave that to proof for around 35 to 40 minutes until it's doubled in size. And you get that, which is just beautiful. Flour your work area. Now, that's how you're looking at it. Beautiful stretchiness. You know that's gonna be so doughy. So let's put a little bit of flour on here, just so it means I can still work with it and still gonna be a little bit more pliable. Now we're gonna start going in with our little ingredients. Now, this sort of thing's just brilliant for getting the kids involved with. You know, who doesn't love pizza? Simple as that. And I'm gonna add a good amount of cheese. And I'm gonna fold and mix this all in. Another little bit of cheese. Fold and mix, fold and mix. You're gonna grab yourself a good handful of sun-dried tomatoes. You can keep all that oil in there, it's perfect. And you're just gonna really roughly chop these up. Into that same mix, we're gonna go in with a good tablespoon of tomato puree, three cloves of crushed garlic, and a teaspoon of sun-dried tomato paste. Give this a good mix together. Then we've got a good handful of our basil. Just take off the tiny little bit of stalk end and again, roughly chop that up. You're gonna rub that into your mix and you're just gonna bend that backwards and forwards. You're just gonna fold that constantly until all those flavors are separated into little bits and pieces throughout the whole mix. I told you it's messy. I just find it works better to, to do it this way rather than putting it all in the food processor when it comes out a little bit too mushy. You almost want it to be quite rustic big chunks of flavours rather than pureed. Roll that round into a ball and then you're just going to section this off. So we're going to cut these into one, two, three, four, and then again. Another good scattering of your flour and you just want to roll these out lightly with the back of your hands until they're about a centimetre in width and you're going to just go flip it back on itself make sure that's all even and you're just going to crisscross these over the top of each other flip them around until you get yourself like a nice little cheese twist once you've twisted that round nicely that can go onto a pre-lined baking tray and do exactly the same with all the others. Finally just your last little bits of mozzarella, tiny little drizzle of oil and that can go into another 180 celsius for around 20 to 25 minutes. Now while that's cooking off in the oven we're going to get on with a really simple tapenade dip. Now essentially for this we've just got really roughly chopped olives, really roughly chopped capers, um, some parsley, lemon and just going to mix that together with the olive oil until you get the right consistency. You've got this beautiful finished tapenade. Let's serve this one up. And I'm just going to finish that off with just a few flux pieces of fresh basil. And they are good to go. I mean, seriously, look how doughy they are inside. They're like tear and share little breadsticks. So let's give these a little try. Just going to get a little bit of your tapenade. I mean, what is there not to like about that? Just little doughy pizza breadsticks. 
they are so good. You've got the little bits of garlic and cheese going through there with a little hint of basil, and that tapenade really works with the strength of its flavour. But if you do recreate this one, hashtag Riz Haste Kitchen as always, go across my website, www.hastekitchen.com. We'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.